And now we put the focus on Hong Kong, where it is the 24th straight weekend of protests. The death of a student protester has angered the protesters further. Scuffles broke out as policemen dressed in plain clothes arrested masked protesters from a shopping mall. The police suspected them of engaging in acts of vandalism. Resisting the arrest, protesters and onlookers threw objects at the policemen. The police then used batons to subdue the protesters and control the crowd. Protesters also gathered in the Twin Mun district. This was to pay tributes to those injured in the clashes with the city police. Tensions rose as the police charged with the protesters and clashes ensued once again over there. Demonstrators have been demanding action against the police for their alleged brutality. Meanwhile, a panel of international experts has said that the police watchdog of Hong Kong is ill-equipped to investigate the force's handling of protests. The panel had been appointed by the Hong Kong administration itself. The panel has said that the Independent Police Complaints Commission, or IPCC, needs enhanced resources to investigate the incidents. This could enable the body to issue a report with limited but sufficient facts. And these are live visuals coming to you straight from Hong Kong, where Hong Kong's leader, Chief Executive Carrie Lam, has repeatedly dismissed an independent probe into the alleged police brutality during the protests. Her argument is that the IPCC is up to the job. On the other hand, protesters claim that the IPCC is filled with pro-establishment people. Protesters allege that the IPCC has been toothless to hold the police accountable in previous incidents as well, as chaos continues to grip Hong Kong. Well into the night, the streets of Hong Kong still gripped by tension for the 24th straight weekend.